performance And I'm not checking boxes I'm here to worship I'm here to worship you So dust off the cobwebs And clear out my conscience Cause I'm here to worship I'm here to worship you Yes, we are. Mm, 
We're all bowing down here. We're all bowing down here. Sean, Jacob, thank you guys for coming out here. What's up? Sharing the song with us. <laughs> Man, what a great song to sing. Thank you. And yeah. we were just kind of chatting about it earlier. I don't know when the last time was that I sang the word Maranatha, that, yep. that we just corporately worshiped mm-hmm. with that word. So can you guys just tell me a little bit about the inspiration of the song? Yeah. And maybe even for some of our listeners, just the meaning of Maranatha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so same. You know, I, I don't hear it a lot. Mm-hmm. It's only used in scripture a few times. Um, and it's been thought to, in the early church, been a bit of like a mantra, mm-hmm. kind of like shalom or, so if we have any Star Wars fans, sort of like at the end of a moment, you would say, uh, may the force be with you. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, if if you are on the mountain or in the valley, if you are going through something tragic or Mm -hmm. something beautiful, you could say Maranatha, Mm -hmm. Um, but it just means come Lord. Yeah. Or our Lord is coming, you know, this hopeful 
belief that we could hang on to no matter what. Um, what a cool, what a cool thing. So to have a song yeah. that is really about trying to find that worship heart, mm -hmm. trying to believe, okay, we always, we were designed to worship, so we're going to worship something, but it's got to be, it's got to be you. Yeah. You know, what does surrender actually look like yeah. to be able to have in my spirit, it just reorients my posture when I start to think, uh, the Lord is coming, right? Yes. The Lord is coming. So it kind of has that spirit about it. Um, I mean, Jacob said for a while that he's, he's wanted to put Maranatha in a song for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, there's language that we reserve really only f for the Lord, you know, mm -hmm. and that bridge has a lot of it in there. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory in the highest. And I've always kind of felt like Maranatha is a beautiful thing to say to the Lord. Yeah. And, you know, we have songs like Hosanna. We definitely have Hallelujah songs. But yep. uh, just to kind of carve out a space, maybe for Maranatha mm -hmm. to jump on the shelf of, like, amazing language that we, we say to the Lord. And yeah. uh, um, I just remember us uh, riding that bridge and just it, it working because it was a little bit of a tall order, you know, Maranatha. Like, yeah. uh, but whenever it just kind of sat there along its other along with its other brothers and sisters it was a really beautiful mm -hmm. moment so i love that yeah. and i love the complexity of it like mm -hmm. isn't that part of our job as worship leaders mm -hmm. to teach mm -hmm. you know it's not just like let me lead you where you've already been but yeah. also let me teach you something new yeah. about your relationship with yeah. the lord and it's so complex and like this jesus is here in this room right now with us and also yeah. it's this cry of our hearts to posture ourselves to say lord come Yep. Like we're excited about the coming of Jesus and we're excited about what he will do. Yeah. We're posturing our hearts. Yep. Well, guys, I just want to say thank you for taking this word just straight out of scripture, breathing life into it and giving the church something to sing with the word Maranatha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>